Hello, Mrs. Patrick. Hi, Mr. Calciano. Everyone looks wonderful today. <laughs> they clean up good. Mr. Caltabiano, Ms. Barbano, Ms. Patrick, members of the faculty, parents, and students. Welcome to the 2020 National Junior Honor Society induction ceremony. My name is Avery Wu and I'm the president of Harrington's National Junior Honor Society. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of Harrington's NJHS chapter. For current members and those former members who may be among our guests, we hope this will serve to remind you of the standards of excellence you two are charged with, maintaining as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious recognition program. This year, we completed numerous projects to help our community and school. Our chapter's advisor members will now highlight some of our key projects completed by members this year. Ms. Patrick? Service is one of the National Junior Honor Society's most important values. One of the various service projects our NJHS chapter completed this year was when we partnered with the South Jersey Food Bank in Pensacon. Eighth grade members organized a school-wide food drive through which we collected 1,026 pounds of food to help combat food insecurity in our region. Following this, in January, all inducted eighth grade members volunteered at the South Jersey Food Bank where they sorted through over 4,500 food items in less than two hours. At Harrington, NJHS members help their peers and fellow friends academically through a peer tutoring program known as Cougar Tutor. Throughout the year, our members met up with other Harrington students at lunch, after school, and even more recently virtually to help them understand concepts they were struggling to grasp. This year, our NJHS members arranged tutoring services for over 40 students. Ms. Barbano? Posies for chemo and care packages for veterans was another service project. When inducted into NJHS, members are not only expected to represent the pillars, but to show they, the care they have for helping others. This year, our NJHS members dedicated time to cut 26 blankets in preparation for Cozy's for Chemo Martin Luther King Service Day project. In honor of Veterans Day, Chapter created care packages for retired service members living at Brightview in Mount Laurel. As a group, NJHS brought in a variety of things such as puzzle books, dental care items, snacks, and lotions. With all that they gathered, our members assembled 15 care packages for veterans, hoping to give them the appreciation they deserve for their sacrifice and citizenship. Teacher Appreciation Room Service Projects was another service project they were involved with. We all know that teachers play a vital role in every child's life, and their work impacts us far beyond the classroom. NJHS wanted to celebrate Teacher Appreciation Day to give thanks. NJHS did this by providing room service to Harrington staff. 
One day after school, our chapter completed the cleaning and organizing services requested by our teachers and even left handmade notes and refreshments on their desks. I would now like to introduce our secretary, Avni. Our chapter is proud to have been inducting new members since 2014. And with today's ceremony indicates the continuing emphasis on excellence that we represent for our school and community. Throughout the year, members of our chapter serve as role models for other students. In addition to the strong academic records which establish the eligibility for membership, our chapter members are leaders in many student organizations and we serve our district and community through many activities. We are proud of this record of accomplishment and welcome these new members who bring new energy in support of our continuing work as NJHS members. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Thomas E. Harrington chapter of the National Junior Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the five pillars that serve as standards for the society. New inductees of the chapter will now review those pillars for candidates. We begin with scholarship. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the last thing that is to cultivate in mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education is ended. For human education is only with the end of life. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present, and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand our world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. I now introduce Morgan Carr. My pillar is service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. I would now like to introduce Ashley Cow. a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in the school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantive change to each of our members. I would now like to introduce Valeria. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is that without which no one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life, and once developed, grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action, the daily striving to make the right choice. It must be in reality what we wish to appear to others, to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. And that's a Caroline Mass. I represent citizenship, the obligations each member of our society faces to live up to the democratic ideals given to us by the founders of our country. The responsibilities each of us has to our home community, our state, our nation, and our world are many. As good, as, as good citizens, we are bound to live up to the laws and guidelines which unite us as a civilized society. Good citizens work together to improve not only our lives, but the lives of all our fellow citizens. Good citizen ship requires that we remain strong and vigilant in protecting the freedoms and rights that have been granted to us and in preventing injustice from entering our lives. We, the members of the chapter, are called to live up to the high standards of citizenship from this day forward. I would now like to invite Rose Petta, our vice president, to induct our new members. At this time, will the new inductees please turn on your mics? Please raise your right hand and repeat the pledge. I pledge to uphold I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Junior Honor Society to which I have been selected 
to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school. I will be loyal to my school. And will maintain and encourage. And will maintain and encourage. The high standards. The high standards. Of scholarship. Of scholarship. Service. Service. service leadership. Leadership. Character, character, and citizenship. And citizenship. Thank you. Please turn off your mics, and now we are proud to introduce the new inductees. Akshaya and Marnath. Akshaya has been a dedicated member of the NJHS and the Harrington Seabot scene. She has participated in many community services, such as Mount Laura Cleanup and in Comcast Cares Day. Over the years, she has spent her time at the library making cards for people in the Army, as well as people in the hospital. She also volunteers as a mentor in an organization called the FLL, where she participates in charity events and various community service projects. She vows to use the pillars and be a loyal member to NJHS. Angela Anand. Angela has been a member of National Junior Honor Society, Leadership Circle, and the HMS Sea Perch and Mate teams. She has volunteered on many different occasions, such as working at the Mount Laurel Library and encouraging young aspiring readers to continue reading. She has also volunteered at a charity center where everyone got to make sandwiches and cards for the homeless. Angela is also a part of one of the two Harrington Middle School Seabridge teams that finished in second place in New Jersey in 2019. Noelle Beeler. Noelle Beeler is a studious, confident, funny, and a loyal friend. She makes everyone she meets smile and laugh. Noelle is a well-rounded person who has maintained straight A's for her eighth grade year. Besides being a great student and friend, Noelle is an accomplished athlete. One of her greatest accomplishments is placing in the top five at a national competition, as well as being part of a senior team that earned a bid to the D2 Summit. One weekend in February, Noelle volunteered for six hours at the Think Pink event, which benefits the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Will Beneva. Will has been in the Mount Laurel school system all of his life. He is a proud member of Leadership Circle, Student Council, and Harrington Middle School's NJ. He volunteers at his local church and at swim team. Life. At his church, he takes, takes care of children and teaches them good value. He has also received the Watch Award by his teachers for displaying Harrington's. Ashley Cow. Ashley has joined Harrington Middle School's NJHS in hopes of being able to do more for her community. In addition, she has also helped serve breakfast for the homeless multiple times. Shortly before the COVID-19 outbreak escalated, Ashley helped pass out free face masks on Sunday afternoons. After church, she would stay longer and help the other adults in her church to prepare the face masks. She has also babysat for the people in her church during her free time. Ashley hopes she can continue to serve her community well. Morgan Carr. Morgan Carr is a trustworthy member of Harrington Middle School's NJHS and is always willing to lend a hand to a peer. Morgan is constantly helping fellow students in and out of the classroom. She volunteers at a local softball clinic where she teaches girls ages 5 to 10 how to play softball. Morgan also volunteers at a local camp where she enjoys watching first graders as a counselor in training. She enjoys being able to give back to those younger than her and strives to be a role model to all. Morgan Carr has also received the Watch Award from her teachers on Team Phoenix for being the hardest worker in the room. Ella Hashimoto. In addition to Harrington's NHS, Ella plays the trumpet in jazz band and has been in step art for three years. She has donated her hair to children in need three times, including once in early March this year. Ella has been a member of for seven years and has participated in multiple community service projects through Girl Scouts, such as collecting school supplies for the Unforgotten Haven. In her free time, she also loves baking and decorating a variety of cakes. 
Derek Ho. Through faithful membership at the Student Councils of Hartford and Harrington, Leadership Circle and NJHS, Derek works hard to serve a school and community abroad. He helps fundraise and collect items for various organizations, such as Book Smiles, The Joy of Socks, and the American Red Cross Association. Derek also helps out at his local Chinese language school, assisting the teacher whenever needed. Occasionally, he performs the violin for elders at local nursing homes. At Harrington Middle School, Derek maintains a 4.0 GPA and has won the Watch Award from his teachers regarding his positive and inclusive attitude. Joy Jacobs. As a member of Harrington's Leadership Circle, Joy has participated in local conferences and was one of the two students selected to represent our school at a national leadership conference in Washington, D.C. She also volunteered at our school's library during her lunch for the past two years and also is a morning announcer. Joy has also received watch awards in seventh and eighth grade for her academic excellence and her fun personality. Outside of school, she works with her Girl Scout troop to coordinate clothing and toiletry drives for the homeless. Courtney McLaughlin. Throughout this year, Courtney has worked hard academically and socially. She is active in both softball and cheerleading and challenged herself to become better in both sports. She has helped her community by working with the Hand and Heart Organization, which serves lunches to the homeless in Philadelphia. She has also created several cozies for chemo blankets to comfort cancer patients. Courtney has not only been a member of Harrington Middle School's NJHS, but has participated in Leadership Circle and Battle of the Books, while maintaining straight A's in every class throughout the year. Caroline Mash. Caroline has been a member of Harrington's NJHS Leadership Circle and Volleyball Clubs this year. She has been a hardworking member of Student Council as well, making posters, helping run pep rallies, and organizing donation drives. Caroline volunteers for the organization Hug Wraps once a month, where she hand makes and sells table runners to pay for radiation robes for cancer patients. In sixth grade, Caroline also received the Pride and People's Choice Award for being a caring and hardworking student. Magna Parija. Magna has been dedicated to NJHS, Sea Perch, Leadership Circle, Debate Club, and Battle of the Books. She has spent time volunteering for the summer reading program at the Mount Laurel Library and by also making meals for the homeless shelters. Magna also spends time making cards and blankets for kids in hospitals and military members. She has earned all straight A's this year and constantly strives to, be, to better herself. Valeria, Valeria Sandoval Cuervo. Valeria has participated in several community service projects, including volunteering for Harrington's own Sea Perch Football Festival. Moreover, she worked hard and aided her team in the process of winning Sea Perch Open Obstacle Horse. In addition, she consistently served as a peer tutor during her lunch period throughout the months of February and March. Valeria is also a member of the Scouts, and her family stores clothes in their basement to later be donated to those in need. In conclusion, she hopes to be a valuable member of society and contribute all she can to NJHS. Shreya Soma. Shreya has been a member of several clubs in school, including Debate Club, Battle of the Books, and Sea Perch. She has volunteered for the library summer program to encourage reading and has participated in Harrington's Geography Bee. Shreya has also mentored at the local Future Lady Leaders program and has delivered a speech about the importance of STEM. Aditya Sriram. In addition to Harrington's NJHS, Aditya regularly volunteers his, to serve his community, such as volunteering to clean local parks. He worked at the Mount Laurel Library during the summer to input the total number of hours read by every child for the Mount Laurel Reading Contest. He also volunteers at the Kumon Center, helping kids with academic related questions. Aditya has received an award for all straight A's at Hartford and regularly keeps up with his grades, maintaining straight A's throughout the year. Maya Thacker. Maya is a member of the 12UA team on Jersey Storm. However, her love of sports doesn't distract her from helping the community. Every year, Maya goes to Johnson & Johnson, where she participates in an event called Feed My Star for Children, 
on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. On this day, Maya helps families for kids and adults all around the world food insecure. Maya has also been to the Mount Laura Library to pack lunches and make blankets for the homeless with her cousins. Maya is proud of all her achievements and is dedicated to pursuing ways to help her community. Samira Thakrar. Samira is a second degree black belt that strives to improve. In addition to NJHS, she, has a she is a dedicated member of Leadership Club and Debate Club. To date, she has volunteered over 40 hours of community service by cleaning barns at Paws Farm, making sandwiches for the homeless, as well as creating fleece blankets to comfort critically ill patients. Samira has also received the HMS Watch Award in the first marking period and has achieved a 4.0 GPA. Anjali Trivedi. Anjali is an active member of Harrington's NJHS Leadership Club and Student Council. In Student Council, Anjali has helped collect and count books for a local charity called Book Smile. Last summer, Anjali volunteered with the Lumberton School District to assist younger students with reading difficulties to strengthen their reading skills. Anjali also volunteers her time to the North South Foundation, which is a charity organization that provides college, college scholarships to the needy students in India. Arjun Tiagi. Arjun has been a contributing member to his community, NJHS Sea Perch, and his school. His interest in the piano, Sea Perch, and volunteering have made him a well rounded student. In addition to being elected the CFO of the seventh grade Sea Perch team, Arjun was also the pilot for the competition. As a talented musician, Arjun won three golds for its practical and theory, South Jersey juried recital, and for the prestigious guild performance. For the past three years, he has been on the national role in the guild competition. And now, please welcome our principal, Mr. Ryan, who will offer congratulatory remarks to the new members. Thank you. Everybody did a wonderful job, and uh, it was great to hear everyone's story and all the service that you've done across the school year. Um, I would like to start out by thanking and recognizing our two NJHS advisors, Mrs. Patrick and Mrs. Barbano, for all of their efforts in putting together this virtual induction ceremony to recognize our distinguished National Junior Honor Society students. I would also like to welcome our parents, students, and faculty members to our NJHS ceremony, and thank you for taking the time to help recognize our students. Congratulations to our new Thomas E. Harrington National Junior Honor Society inductees. I know that you will uphold the five important pillars of scholarship, service, leadership, character and citizenship to our outgoing NJH members. I wanna thank you. You have upheld the high standards that we set at Thomas E. Harrington Middle School. You are a model student and all of you make it easy to be the principal of this great school. While this school year certainly did not unfold as we intended, the five pillars of NJHS, scholarship, service, leadership, character and citizenship are what guided our journey to complete this school year. Our students did not waver in their pursuit of achieving their goals, and each student embodied those five pillars so that we can move forward as a school, a district, and a community at large. Thank you again, and congratulations to all of our NJH, NJHS inductees. Thank you all for attending our induction ceremony this year. All newly inducted members will receive NJHS certificates in the mail. I'd like to thank our principal my fellow officers for their work in organizing this year's virtual induction. Please join me in a round of applause for thanking them. This concludes our virtual NJHS induction ceremony. Thanks again for attending and congratulations to our newest NJHS members. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. Yes.
Congratulations. It was so great to see everyone. I know, right? Just celebrate with your families. All right, we'll see you soon. You too, Derek.